my father was an engineer and he said to me that uh, I couldn't go to art school unless I did an apprenticeship and I managed to do a year's foundation in Farnham. It wasn't until I took him to a print studio and he saw the mechanics of the presses and how they operated and how they moved and he was fascinated by that. And I said to him, this is an apprenticeship I wanted to do. <laughs> I just love drawing. I used to look at the work of Sutherland, Piper, Nash, Henry Moore. Quite sculptural drawings really, simplistic ideas. I always have a sketchbook on the go or have 10 to 12 pieces of paper roughly the same size. And in amongst those 10 to 12 papers, I might have a plate, I might have a bit of a wood, the same size as the paper. And I just draw across them all in one go. Ideas flow and I just automatically draw on a plate or draw on a bit of wood. And at the end of that stint of time, I might have one or two good drawings and one or two of them might be on an etching plate. I would tend to prepare everything in advance. Then I go home because in a way that's that technical part of the process done. So when I come back in to do my own work, I'm just thinking about the work and creativity of what I want to do. So that might actually change, but I don't have to worry about any technicalities of this colour or mixing this or mixing that. I know it's all going to work, so I just concentrate on making an image that I want. We've got old presses, but I do tend to work with lots of people in a contemporary approach. So that the marks we're making, we can now produce that in screen. So sometimes it's, it's because of the factors of where you're working, with, what you are, who you're working with, what you're doing, that can inhibit you know, how you process. It's kind of become more kind of making work as and when you can. And I feel like I can concentrate effort in a period of time. Do you think of things in, in sections, like a repeat pattern of a print? You'll think of something specifically and you'll It'll mull over in your mind for a while, then you'll get three days in the studio and then you can make something. <laughs>